Today on Trail Recon, we're in the garage with Overland X, and we're gonna show you a very cool do-it-yourself LED project. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome to Trail Recon. I'm Brad, and today I am really excited, guys. I've got my buddy Marco here from Overland X. Brad, nice Brother, to see you again. Thank you for coming over today. Uh, guys, today we are gonna show you a very, very cool do-it-yourself LED lighting system that can go on the rear uh, back door of your Jeep that Marco's been using for a while. How long have you had this system on your Jeep? I built it a couple years ago, Yeah, and it's been perfect. It, you know, when I go camping, I got light there for my table. Yeah, I got light for my fridge. Right. And I got light. Yeah, it's awesome. And I saw that and I was like, man, that is such a cool setup the first time I saw it. But I really kind of thought, I mean, I don't know if I could do something like that and how much does it cost? But the truth is, this is under 50 bucks. It's under 50 bucks. You spend 50 bucks and you're going to have left a lot of leftovers to build another unit. Right. Or maybe, or maybe even a third maybe one. Maybe a third one. Right. Yeah. And it's super simple to do, right? Which yes. we're going to show these guys today, which I think is really awesome. Now, Marco, the only thing I'm worried about, because uh, most of this looks pretty straightforward, is the soldering. So you're going to give us some tips on how <laughs> yes. to solder, right? Okay, because I need a little bit of help with that. But let's tell the viewers here all the little parts and components that we need for this. What I got is the. Uh, 50-50 LED in white. Okay. It's a roll and it comes five meters. Okay. For about ten dollars. Ten bucks for this. Ten dollars. And you, yes. And this has got it's already got an adhesive back, so that makes things pretty easy, yeah. right? And it's got a cover because it's waterproof. Okay, right. So yeah, it's like a big rubber thick thick rubber. Okay, nice. Yeah, you get so much of that. And this is really neat. This is the uh, LED controller and dimmer. Yeah. And it's got a remote a control. Remote control. So that's can, awesome. You can turn off and on your lights, yeah. dim your lights from uh, from distance. Okay, and tell I, I, it blew my mind when you told me this. How much does this thing cost? Nine dollars and thirty cents. Nine dollars and thirty cents. <laughs> so for something that we've got a remote control and we can dim for that cheap, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, what else we got? This is important. This is the uh, aluminum profile, okay. which is the channel where you stick the uh, 5050 LED, okay. like that. Yeah, and then it has this. Uh, cover, which is the fuse, you can get it in clear, but I think the fuse is better. Yeah. Uh, it won't blind you when you turn on those lights. Sure. It's important to have a good double-sided side, uh, tape yep. to keep it in place. Okay. And of course, you know, a cutter, a wire stripper, yep. and uh, the heat shrink to keep uh, your wires uh, safe okay. and, and covered. And of course, a uh, little bit of uh, wire cover loom. There. That's like a polyester flexible stuff or whatever, right? Yes. Okay, and we're using 16 gauge wire? Correct. Okay. Now I'm really excited to see you solder this because soldering is not a skill brother that I have. I have a very cheap solder and I am a total hack at it. This is a much better system, so I'm really looking forward to showing me uh, how it works a little bit. Yeah, this is a really nice solder made from Weller. It's 40 to 50 bucks. Yeah. And it's adjustable temperature. Okay. And it's a semi industrial more controllable with the uh, with the adjustment, the heat heat adjustment there. Uh, it'll make your life easier yeah. when you're soldering. Nice. Well, I'm excited to uh, get started and show these guys how to put this thing together. You ready? Awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, brother. What are we starting with? We're gonna measure and cut our 50/50 LED strip. Okay. It's got its own uh, backing right here. Okay. Tape. Okay. To make it fit into the aluminum profile who's gonna be our light base. Okay, um, now you cut three strips of these, right? One, so you've got one long strip for the back part and then two short strips. So this is just one of the short strips we're showing. This is one of the short strips, yeah. just as a sample. Yeah. Because you're gonna cut it, they come in, uh, this come in a one meter length. Yeah. And because it's not only for the Jeep, you can yeah, install yeah. it in a Tacoma or sure. any other vehicle. Yeah. So you cut it to size. Absolutely. And uh, the rolls, they come in five meter rolls. Yeah. So you've got plenty of material. Okay. And. Um, this is very important. Uh, this is cover. It's it's a cover to make it a waterproof uh, system. So you need to solder your way into the uh, connector right here. So you got to burn through the plastic or rubber. Or yes. Okay. Yes. We got to use the solder to do that. Okay. Burn uh, well so we can uh, do the soldering in there. Okay. We'll show folks how to do that here in a second, right? What else we could write? And we got the. 16 gauge wire. Okay, and that's just gonna go right up to the little brass spot yep. there, right? And there's a and positive and negative side? Right? right, correct. It shows the positive and the negative. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so we're cutting okay. this first? We're cutting this first. Let's do it. Um, we need to measure it to size, you know? 
And be aware that uh, this brass collar spots right here, these are the connectors for the wires, okay? okay? So we want to make sure that they line up correctly. And also, you can cut over the LED, so you need to make sure the LED stays in a, in a safe spot. The spot right so just so move it right or left to make sure that it yeah. all fits on there what I'm gonna do is cut it right right before the LED right here okay so this is cut to size we got the connectors in the right the right spot but we ended up with a little extra piece over here at the end at the other end so we do just cut it so trimming it is no big deal as long as you're not cutting right on the LED, right? As long as you're not cutting over this LED right here, yeah. you can cut anywhere. Okay, nice. So that's the right uh, size right there. Perfect. Okay, now that it's cut, brother, what's next? Remove the adhesive, stick it there, and start soldering. Okay, let's do it. How nice is it that he comes with his own adhesive back? I know. This thing's so simple. And I just remove it little by little so it'll be straight. Right. It's pretty flexible. There's so many different applications for this thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. This is the positive side right here, so right now it doesn't matter, but all you need to do is just... Just burn it through that plastic. Burn to that uh, rubber or plastic cover. Just melts it away. Melts it away, and you got an open... Uh, area where you can solder the wire. Okay. Now every single LED uh, strips are different. I like this one because it's got the uh, this protective cover. Yeah. So it's pretty neat. That's open. We're gonna put a little bit of flux in the tip of the uh, soldering iron. Okay. What does okay. flux do for you? This will help the your uh, wire, soldering wire to start the uh, the process of melting. Okay. And it'll be keep it cleaner. Okay. Okay. And then now you're just dropping the solder on top of there before we put the wire on there, right? I'm just gonna put a little solder in the connector. Okay. Get it heated up a little bit. So I can So by putting the solder on there kind of gives us a foundation to put the wire on and then you just remelt it. Is that correct? Am I explaining that right? Correct. Okay. And you're just kind of feeding the wire onto the onto the soldering iron and letting it melt. Let it melt okay. so it'll stick to the uh, hot surface. Okay, and it just kind of drips down there a little bit. You don't want to overheat it either, so... Okay. Just... And you're touching that brass connector when you're doing that? Yes. Okay. So, it, so the brass connector will get hot and it'll help the... Uh, solder okay. adhere to it. And you use the flux in between, in between yep. just to keep it clean. Okay. Just, just put a little bit of uh, solder in your wire like this. So, so to have it ready to stick. Okay. That's your positive. Just let it work. So just they kind of melt it in there, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's for the positive. Yes. Super easy. Now the negative. Try not to, uh, you can touch each other, so you create a short there. So now that's, we're, that's wired up, huh? Now let's, uh, let's try it. Let's test it. Let's test it. So now it's all solder. Moment of truth, let's see if this works. Ah, uh, yeah. nicely done, brother. Nicely done. We got light. Okay, what do we gotta do now? We need to put the uh, heat shrink here just to protect the wires okay. and uh, the wire loom. Okay, and then we put the plastic cover on and then it's ready to go. And, and then it's ready to go. And we've already got the, the other piece fully done, so we'll show the guys how to install and wire that just up, Just installation, right? yes. Nice. Super simple, man. I love it. First, uh, the heat shrink protector. Then we measure the loom. I love that polyester loom because it's so easy so to work easy with. It's so easy to work with and uh, it keeps your 
It makes it look nice yeah, too. Yeah, it does. It gives it a really clean look. So, just cut it with the scissors or any cutter. I'm gonna cut this loose wire so it won't cut on through the. Uh, oh, make it slide in there a little. Make easier. it slide easier and won't yeah. cut into this. So, just. It in. There you go. And got a good uh, heat gun. The cover. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah. This table got hot. <laughs> That's it, ready to go. The finished product. Perfect. I just want to mention to folks that these aluminum profile have these little plastic caps that already has a pre-drilled hole, which makes things pretty simple, right? And those just plug in right onto the ends, right? Correct, it's just, uh, it's just an end plug for mm -hmm. the uh, profile and it'll make it look neat and you can run your wire through that uh, already made hole. Nice. Stick it like that. That's in place. Perfect. All right, Marco. Let's uh, let's show the folks what sizes we got here for the Jeep. These measurements are for the Jeep. So for the long, the long one is thirty-nine and a half inches long. Okay. Okay. And what about the two side ones? The side ones, twelve inches. Okay. Nice. And that'll fit uh, the Jeep window perfectly. I love it. Okay. So now all we got to do now is uh, put that uh, 3M tape backing on there, right? Put the 3M tape and then the, the backing right here so it'll hold it in place. All right, let's do it. And it's very important to use a good quality double sided tape. Uh, I use the Scotch made by 3M. Now this tape holds pretty well, so you only need a couple pieces, right? Maybe put in a, a couple more here. Yeah. But I mean, it's so light that it's uh, it should be okay, right? It should be okay, yeah. Okay. Mine has been uh, using the same tape for a couple years. And I've been through heat and cold and yeah. haven't had an issue yet. Nice. That's why it's good to use a good uh, quality tape. Perfect. All right, so we're just gonna clean the window here with a little bit of alcohol. And then I'll make sure we've got a good surface to adhere to. So this tape is really sticky, so having a little knife that you can kind of peel the plastic. Correct, and yeah. as you can see, you don't need to cover the whole base. Yeah. Just little pieces of tape will do. Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't weigh very much, and this, this tape is super grippy. Oh, yeah. It's, it's even hard to remove the, yeah. the cover, so. So we need to be, I'll show you where. Stick it right there. Okay, and this we need to make it straight as possible with your right along the yeah. Just follow that line. The black line, right? Yeah. Okay. You don't even notice it. No. Perfect. All right, now we just got to uh, get some power going, right? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Oh. There you go. Oh man, that's so nice. We got light. Perfect. All right, Marco, let's talk to folks how we're gonna wire this up. Well, I'm gonna take advantage of the uh, existing defroster uh, uh, wire. Okay. And zip tie our wire to it. All right. So it'll look clean and neat. All right, and then what are we gonna run it when we get in the Jeep? The oh. defroster goes into this hole here. So we're gonna use the same hole to send the wires to the opposite side of the Jeep. That's, that's where the uh, connectors. Yeah, because I've already, guys, I've already got uh, my 12 volt cooler wired up to this side of the Jeep. So we're gonna splice into that wire and it'll be perfect. Have a nice little setup. All right guys, Marco's uh, hooking up the wire. What we did was we took some baling wire and we fed it through this hole here and ran it all the way across out here. That way all we have to do is just pull that wire straight on through.
Look at that. Simple. So I put a little solder on the tips of the wire so it'll keep the wires uh, all together. And you got your negative and your positive. And then this box has an inlet and outlet side, right? Yes, this is the output side. That means that sends the current to the uh, light okay. and the input. That's your uh, nice. your 12 volt. Now I, you can you can use a remote, but you can also control everything from here. Correct. So you can do it by hand. Right. So that's why we're installing the box right here. So you can have good access to it. Get access uh, manually or with your remote. Okay. And we're just going to use some of that double sided tape to hold it up there because that thing doesn't weigh very much, right? It doesn't weigh at all. Perfect. Marco brother, this turned out awesome. I mean, I love it, man. Thank you so much for coming over and helping me install this, man. There's so many little tips and tricks that I think were really helpful, but how simple and inexpensive. I can't wait uh, to nighttime to, for you to try this. Yeah, I, I definitely need to do some camping here soon, brother. We need to hit the trail and go do some camping, but thank you so oh, much, lecture, man. Guys, I hope you have found this informative. You know, look, if you're a Jeep owner or not a Jeep owner, this is a very simple install and a very, I mean, it's just so functional to be able to turn your, have all this light on the back of your Jeep or the, any rig you got, guys. Thanks for watching. Look, if you are visiting the channel for the first time, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. And please make sure you go over to Overland X Instagram channel and follow Marco along on his adventures. Thanks for watching. Thank you.